www.ghostsofthepeninsula.com or call 1-877-377-8470. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Following World War II, most Americans had had enough strife, trauma, and heartbreak to last a lifetime. So for the most part, they really had one main priority, to create secure, calm, and orderly communities where they could work and safely raise their families. Unfortunately, though, millions of teenagers, they didn't get that memo. And throughout the 1950s, front pages from coast to coast were filled with stories about the rising scourge of juvenile delinquency. And maybe there wasn't a rise, but there certainly was an increase in press coverage of teenage crime. Coming up next, a groundbreaking drama from 1955 that boldly brought those we've lost control of our kids' headlines to life. From writer and director Richard Brooks, it's Blackboard Jungle. Glenn Ford stars as a young teacher assigned to a tough inner city school, and Ford discovers one day that he has his work cut out for him. Over the years, We've seen plenty of movies about idealistic teachers and tough kids, but as you're watching, remember this was a brave, cutting-edge drama in its day, made even more so by its soundtrack, which featured for the first time in a major motion picture, rock and roll. At the time, many American adults felt that if rock and roll wasn't the cause of juvenile delinquency, it was certainly a contributing factor. Writer and director Richard Brooks desperately wanted to find a song appropriate for his movie, something the kids might think was cool and maybe a song that parents going to see the movie would find just a bit threatening. When Brooks heard Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley in the comments, he knew he had found the right song. It is hard to imagine people thinking that Rock Around the Clock was threatening. But then again, this was 1955. From 1955, also featuring Anne Francis, Sidney Poitier, and making his big screen debut, Vic Morrow. Here's Blackboard Jump. 